Hi, Said, ready for work? As usual. And how far with your job search? Same old story, we'll get back to you. But God is in control. <laughs> Kaladi, let me just tell you. Maybe you have not prayed enough. What you do in this house, you eat, you attend fellowship as if I am not a Christian. You attend Sunday service as if you are going for a deliverance, unending. Claudia, I've told you, the first month you arrive in Canada, you could search for a job, for just a factory work. Then you stabilize like that. But you said no. No, you will say, God forbid. You better make up your mind. But, 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 but what? I'm, I'm ready to go. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you. Hello, Shadi, how are you? Said, Said. Don't Said me, please. It is now four months down the line that you have been searching for this year job. When will it end? Just a little more time. I'm trying my best. I've prayed and I know God will intervene. Kola, mm. well, uh, you have been eating my food in this house. Your dresses are now worn out. 
and you have started taking my dresses. I pay all the bills in this house. What you do is just to listen to messages on YouTube and all that. And you started begging me for money again. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is what you say all the time. I'm sorry. Kola. Yes. For your information. My in-laws are coming in two weeks' time and they will be sleeping in that room that you are staying. I pay all the bills in this house. What you do is just to listen to messages on YouTube and all that. My illness are coming in two weeks time. And they will be staying in that room that you are staying. Daniel, when are you coming home? Oh no, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. And you know that this is the only place I can really concentrate with all the distractions in the city. And this is for us, right? I'm doing this for us. But you know, the, but you know the, the home is not the same without you. I know, I'm so sorry. I miss you. I miss my girls and my boy, Danny. How is he doing? They are, they are doing well. They miss you as well. I dropped them with um, Auntie Rebecca when I was coming. Oh, why is she doing? Wonderful. She's doing great. Yeah, she misses you, long though. Time, yeah. She misses you, though. Uh, hopefully, you will see her when you're done. I... Wait, I think my phone is ringing. Okay. okay. Who's calling her? Hello? Oh, yes, um, yeah, I left the office already. Yeah, I told the directors um, of finance and, um, and the other director to meet with the HR. We'll do the meeting next week. Don't worry, just, just get all the information that we need for the meeting. Yes. Next week, yes, yes, I'll give my verdict next week. Okay, thank you. Can you leave my phone now? We'll, we'll, we'll talk next week. We'll talk next week. I'm with my wife. Don't disturb me, please. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm. Is that Mr. Kushofe? Yeah, you, you know him. He's always... He's the only one that'll call you at weekend, right? <laughs> and disturb it's, you. It's the only... Wait. What? I have an email. From Immigration Canada. Are you serious? Immigration Approved? Canada. Are you serious? I see what you've done for me. 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 I searched around, can't find nobody like you. I see what you've done for me. I see what you've done for me. I see what you've done for me. Monday? What happened? What's going on? No, just don't go there. No, don't tell me you're thinking about the finances already. It is where God will sort things out. God is able to make all grace abound to us all. And he who began a good work in us, the word of God says, is faithful to complete it. Don't worry about it. Don't even think about how we're going to get a ticket for the six of us. I know that's what you're thinking, right? Don't worry, it is well. Well, you know, darling, you know we have to have so many 
some balance in the savings, at least for me to be able to survive and sustain myself over there before I get a job. I know. Worst case scenario, we, we reach out to places like Cooperative at Work and get some loan. You will do that? Why not? What's important is to have you settled first. No, no, this is for us. You're the best woman in the world. Oh, you're making me blush now. <laughs> you know, I never thought we could relocate, even now for our ministerial calling that's calling us to relocate. I know, I know, but that's the most important thing, to, to trust God and obey. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. I love you. I love you, too. Thank you. No problem. Thanks. Don't worry, you know what? You're not going to miss anything. Wow. I have the whole house stocked up for you. <laughs> what do you want? Is it a uh, egusi? Is it bakery? Is it a uh, we do? No. Is it a mala? Pounded yam. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to prepare something delicious for you right now, eh? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, so. <laughs> your care for the past three weeks. And I pray to God to be able to pay you back. Gladi, <laughs> what are friends for? <laughs> um, okay. Don't worry. Feel free. This is your home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And how far back your online job search? Yeah, um, I found some opportunities. Um, I'm filling my application. I attended two interviews last week. And uh, nothing yet. Well, don't worry. Things will get better. Okay? Just try as much as possible to get a good job so that you can settle down in the family. Uh, and that's why I'm trying my best. I know. But here you need to start little. Are you with me? I've been in this Canada for the past 10 years and I've been doing the factory work. You didn't go study business study from Lagos State University, you know? <laughs> uh, need, need, need I be told? Um, I also proceeded to study my master's in Unilag. And I got a job on the Highland. Uh, you know about all this. I know. I know. I know. This is another catch of fish. Canada is quite different from Nigeria. 
you need to start little, then you now build on it. Yep. But I have prayed. And I still know I'll get an executive job. Huh? <laughs> executive job indeed. <laughs> it's very different here, Saki. Very different. You just have to start something small, really small, before you can actually get things to fall in place. Exactly. See, just start something little. Then from there, you copy to build up. And you get your own dream job later. Okay? <laughs> That's okay and correct. <laughs> but I still believe in what the Lord will do. Mr. Johnson Stan, it's been a privilege having you today. We look forward to reaching out to you in the next week or two by email. Thank you very much. It has also been an awesome time here with you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We should be blessed. Thank you. Yeah. Can you please send in the next applicant? Thank you. Hey, Mr. Bello. Uh, Mr. Is it Kalade? Kalade Bello. Kalade Bello. Bello. Oh, okay. Does that mean something in your language? Absolutely. It means bring well to him. Oh, oh, well, you like that in this company here. Um, uh, we've seen your credentials, Mr. Bello, and uh, we've seen your West conversion and your, your bridge program. It is impressive. But unfortunately, you're new to Canada, and this position requires a lot of uh, Canadian experience, which you don't have. So we'll keep your resume, 
and uh, we'll contact you if we need to. But uh, uh, for the time being, we have other uh, people with the right credentials and Canadian experience. So, so I'm sorry, but thank you for coming, Mr. Bell. But sir, just an opportunity, sir. I understand, but uh, we need to move on. We really need that Canadian experience, and unfortunately, you don't have that. You seem like a nice man, but uh, we've got to move on. We're really busy, and we've got other people, so thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry, but uh, you may leave now, Mr. Bella. Lady, what was that? Pacas and Co. How did you do it? How did you do it? Do you know that I applied eight years ago to this country? Uh -uh. Well, our God is great. He's so full of humor, and his ways are in search of. <laughs> this is shocking. What did you do? Well, when I got to the interview venue, I entered. Well, we've just had a review of your credentials again, and um, we'd like to keep you in the loop for consideration. Perhaps after six months of working somewhere else, um, Maybe you'll get that uh, you get that experience that's essential for this post. Um, okay. Yes, sir. Um, but there's always an opportunity to start. If you give me an opportunity to start, no matter how little, my Canadian experience will be in the next six months. You're right, but um, really, this uh, the policy here, this job, it is essential to have this Canadian experience. Um, but um, would you be willing to? perhaps consider volunteering to get that Canadian experience that's required for this job. Um, maybe in another company or maybe even in our company as a volunteer. Absolutely. That's okay. I'm, I'm willing to do that. Really? As a volunteer? Yes, sir. Well, we don't want to look as if we're trying to take advantage of you because you're new to Canada, but uh, you need the experience with the work environment here. So are you saying you, you're working? You're willing to volunteer? Absolutely. That's okay. I'm, I'm willing to do that. No salary? No stipends? Sure. Yes, sir. Really? You're willing to work for free? Just to prove my experience, just to prove my what? Oh, I'm willing to do that. You free? Yes. You will not regret doing that. Nice. 
Well, Mr. Calare Bello, um, what just happened was a, a test on how self, selfless you are. This test is showing that you be very diligent, you've got a very good attitude, and that you're willing to work without pay. And if we can get that kind of attitude, that kind of character here on our job, we can't imagine what it would be like if we paid you. <laughs> so, um, just so you know, um, uh, we conducted the same test. We had another employee who we really liked, and he's got the Canadian experience. And we ran this little test, and uh, fortunately, he failed. But fortunate for you, you passed. So, you're hired. You're hired, Mr. Bello. So I'll get you to wait at the reception and uh, for your offer of uh, your appointment letter. And um, you just need to respond to it within five days. So welcome aboard. <laughs> Do you have any questions, you Mr. Bell? Okay, sir. It's okay. Well, uh, today's Wednesday. Um, you could start on Monday. Thanks. Welcome. Welcome on board. We're pleased to have you. Pleased to have you. Just step over, see our secretary. People they ask why you they shine. I tell them say now you they always make me they shine. Say you be the light, we they my life. You be my joy, oh you be my smile. I see they do me. Nobody ask me. Hundred and twenty thousand per annum. Sake, how did you do it? This is awesome. It's the love to do it. Good <laughs> <Yeah>, man. <laughs> mm. Um, I want to thank both of you for for your assistance in you know all through my journey here. Uh. Thank you for having me in your house. Thank you for accommodating me for this, you know, uh, this while I've been with you. And, um, and by the way, I forgot to mention to you, um, I got an accommodation with the offer that I got. So um, as a result of that, I will be leaving in the next five days. So I don't have to wait for the two weeks that you take notice that you gave me. No, Sake, we want you here. This is your home. We don't want Hello. you to leave. I was just joking about my in-law. Forget about that. I was just upset. Please forgive me. Forgive me. But you need to tell me, how did you do it? Oh, um, for that one, first of all, I would like to know, but have you done your West conversion? West? What, what is WES? Oh. WES is a World Education Service Canada. It helps you convert your Nigerian degrees into Canadian equivalents so that you can be employable here. Nobody else told me about it. Even friends in the church. None. Really? I thought you knew about it all along. Not at all. Oh, wow. Okay, so um, how about we go online and I'll show you That'll be great. Sure. That will be great. Uh. 
I'm looking for a better life. I'm looking for a better life. Giovanni sits on my side. I'm looking for a better life. 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 Looking for a better Worried about your continents, and you have not been saying anything. I had a dream last night, and it bothers me. And what about it? I saw a woman drop a Bible on a dining table and we asked her why this is a bible but of what use is this to us like she said this is the bible and it is the word of god and you need it for life issues the word of god is given to us to help us in every areas of our life that is why we all need it you are so blessed to have Koladi live with you. His coming to your house is not in vain. It was within God's agenda for it to be so. Now is the time for you to possess this land. Because that is the reason why you are here in the first place. So his breakthrough through the work that he got is actually a huge benefit for you. It is an open door for you to have your meal ticket to possess this land. And what God is trying to tell you in this message of your life with Kaladi living with you is that what he cannot do does not exist. Mm -hmm. Now you can see through the life of Kaladi that he waited on God and God showed forth for him. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. You need to thank God often and ongoing. Whether it is sweet, sour, bitter, you're supposed to thank God and appreciate him. But you really didn't see that. While he was calm and waiting for God to bless him, he was thanking God. You did not see that. But now you see how God came forth for him. How can you really appreciate this God that you don't really know? That is my question for you. I was born into a Christian home. I know the importance of serving God, but it is so overwhelming in this part of the world. Ah, so many bills to pay. <laughs> That's okay. Well, that is the mentality over here. Remember that God made your coming to Canada possible because he had great plans for you. But you are too busy with affairs of life. Where are your children, if I may ask? No. No. <laughs> hmm. You have children. Yeah. You have children if only you believe. Anyway, obedience is better than sacrifice. Ooh. That reminds me. I had a similar dream. Really? Yes, but I ignored it. <sighs> so what do you think the dream is trying to tell us? I 